I live in the city of Kuching. It is full with heritage wonders. I have explored the historical trail, but in Sarawak, there are always more to discover. The colorful cultures and heritage have produced unique handicrafts. I always wonder how they are made, but I know exactly where to find out. In Sarawak Cultural Village, I got to experience traditional crafts lessons, starting from the Bidayu house. Bark cloth or the rainforest textile, it is made from tree bark, usually from the kalong or wild breadfruit tree. The bark is removed from the trunk, only the inner layer is peeled off for the fabric. To make it soft and white, it is gently pounded with a wooden hammer. It is then soaked and dried, and finally hand sewn into bark jackets and also wall decorations. Coconut shell is also useful to be made as handicrafts. With creative hands, the design can be outlined with just a fingernail. From the outline, it can be easily carved with a knife. With finishing touch, the coconut shell is transformed into an orangutan coin bank. The hard shell can also be utilized as a back scratcher for instance. Burin Joyo or the Bidayu bamboo flute is made from the indigenous bamboo species. After the branches are removed, the inner hollow section is cleaned with sandpaper. The finger holes are marked precisely before they are drilled with hand tool. The upper third of the flute is decorated with fern shoot motifs with whittling technique. The bamboo can also be made into whistle and of course, the blowpipe. In the heart of Penan, sape is made from local softwood, usually from jelutong, gerunga, and kayu adau. It is carved from wooden logs into a hollow boat-shaped body. Next, it is further polished and decorated with traditional dayak motifs. Finally, a complete modern sape is furnished with frets and nylon strings. In the Iban Longhouse, textiles are hand weaved with a backstrap loom called the Tenun Kara. The weaving process is to interlace parallel longitudinal threads called the warp and lateral threads called the weft. The threads are from cotton plant dyed in natural dyes from local botanical resources. Motifs such as pua kumbu are produced using the ikat technique. The designs are normally inspired by dreams, nature, and the Iban beliefs. Beadworks are still flourishing among the various ethnic community in Sarawak. The beads come in different colors, sizes, and shapes, crafted into accessories such as necklaces and bracelets. With skillful beadworks, they can be sewn into traditional wares in distinct patterns, especially for rituals and festive celebrations. There are more heritage crafts to explore, such as the legacy of Karinka, which is still worn for Malay wedding ceremony. And not to forget the art of bate. It is still trending in fashion featuring traditional to modern cultured motifs. It's always good to see that those handmade products are still preserved until today. But what is more important is tomorrow. The priceless and unique heritage assets for our future generations.